Hello. Welcome back to Andy Knight's Motorsport. Um, yeah. This is a... I suppose it's going to be a vlog. Um, basically, of the last two weeks and two days. Um, whilst you might not have noticed anything, videos keep rolling, Clio series, you know, reviews, updates, stuff like that. Um, basically, I've had two weeks off and it has been completely mental. Um, right, go back two weeks plus a couple of days to Wednesday. In the UK, if you passed your driving test after the 1st of January 1997, Hey, thanks to UK government, you have to do an extension test to be able to tow a trailer over 750 kilos or over gross train weight of three and a half tonne. Well, up until now, when we've gone racing, I've, <laughs> I've had my dad tow me, I've had mates do it, um, I've basically just bummed the lift. But enough was enough. Um, as I said at the beginning of the year, I want van, trailer, um, going for a race car in Greece as well. Um, so I had to do my trailer test. Well, basically, it is just another driving test with a trailer. And I'll go through that in another video. But two weeks ago plus a couple of days till Wednesday um, I passed my B&E towing test so I'm well happy about that that was the Wednesday on the Friday we and uh, me and a couple of mates five other mates from work um, went to Andorra skiing uh, it was a right laugh, it had been planned for some time and <laughs> it was mental, let's say the least. Um, we all went to work Friday morning, yep, all six of us got, up at, got to work for seven o'clock in the morning, finished at half past twelve. Our flight from South End, we went from South End to Barcelona and then drove from Barcelona to Andorra. Um, yeah, we got to the hotel at something like quarter to three in the morning, Saturday morning. Uh, obviously with time difference and stuff like that. Yeah, that was, uh, that was fun, let's say. So we had that and then obviously, so Friday was skiing, Saturday, Sunday, and we flew back Monday night. Now the plan was that we were going to be skiing Monday but it turned out it was an Andorra bank holiday and we ended up basically just getting well and truly drunk Sunday night and sacked the rest off. Um, yeah, so idiot boy here. Um, it was a complete mess. Um, Saturday morning we got rolled in at quarter to three, we're back up at seven. Um, we're going to hit the slopes, we're going to go for it. We've only got a couple of days, so we're going mad. Yeah, there was a couple of unforeseen delays, and we didn't actually get up until the slope about half 11, quarter to 12. Um, got there, and basically we wanted to... Mistake, we wanted to catch up all of the lost time. So we've basically gone mad, we've had no stops. Um, and anyway, I've got my wallet, inside jacket pocket, uh, my left hand side, and it's the last run. We're skiing, I'm skiing down the rest of Baldin, and at Andorra, you've got sort of Andorra one side and Pal the other. So we've gone right to the top, to the, right to the top of Andorra, and we're coming down. And if you look at the, the piece map on the full right hand side, there's lovely blue runs and they're just long, flowing, fast, 
great for a bit of carving. They're just fantastic runs. Now I'm hacking down this blue. Um, and just as I go from the blue to the green, obviously loads of learners. So I'm gonna scrub off some speed, you know. I'm gonna be decent. And I've got flicked it left, obviously weight on the right knee. And I've gone like no problems, taken some speed off. And as I've gone to turn right, my left knee has just given out. So yeah, there's some, there's a fair bit of speed there still. My left knee's given out and I've just gone over. Well, wallet, left hand side pocket, left knee gone. Yeah, I went over, hit the deck, landed on my wallet, bust ribs. Um, yeah, that hurt like hell. Uh, Sunday, I just basically manned up, took some paracetamol and went like an idiot and kept going. We, had, we went over to Powell. Um, Sunday night, yeah, real late night. We were, I think we rolled in at about half past two. Yeah, drunk, like really badly drunk. Um, and we just had a chill out Monday, went and grabbed some pizza, chilled, drove to the airport, had a look around Barcelona. Um, there's some really nice things in Barcelona to go see. We went and saw the Olympic Stadium and crossed over and went and saw the church. Um, and if you go from the Olympic Stadium to down to the church, basically you just walk right. So walk to the front of, um, I believe it's a museum of some sort. And just, if you're looking at the front of the museum, 180 degrees and look the other way and you see Barcelona, the city. That is something to see. Uh, the only thing I can sort of describe it like is, you know, you see on like 80s films where they're like looking over the city, um, American films, they're looking over the city and sort of the lights are on and you know, everyone's just getting on with their thing and you're looking at them. Not that you can see anyone, but yeah, it's really quite something to see. So, had that, um, got on a plane, come back. I walked through the door at five past midnight. So, five minutes into Tuesday morning. Um, yeah, got up, late shift that week. Uh, had some things to sort out from, basically that rolled up over the weekend I was away. Sorted that out that week. Um, that weekend I worked, um, get a few extra pennies in. Um, by the way, my ribs were killing me. Yeah, went and saw the quack and this, that, and the other. Um, worked that weekend, and now we're into this week. Um, had nothing but issues with Virgin Gym saying I owe money and my membership was cancelled excuse me months ago sorted that out um, we've had all sorts of stuff going on at work that is just mental um, and it's Friday night about half past nine and this is the first time I've actually had a chance to make videos in over a fortnight. It's been mental. I've loved every second of it. Um, I'm going to do it again. Uh, yeah, it's been great. Unfortunately, a lot of the footage, or a lot of wanted footage from the skiing holiday never actually got taken due to we were basically going to record everything Monday. Um, I even said to Bill, who's appeared on the channel before, um, build a fossil. Um, I went, look, here's my other GoPro. Obviously I've got my, my Hero 4, which is in front of me. And I've got the session. I went, like, there's my session. Go wild, you're a boulder. You know, I'll take my Hero as a skier, you take my GoPro as a boulder. 
let's go mental. Yeah, Monday never happened. But we still managed to throw his hat over the balcony, which I did get on camera. That was um, hilarious for us, uh, not so hilarious for him, uh, the voice of reason of the group said that it might be a good idea to actually tie his hat to sort of just over the edge where we were that was the the sign we stayed in hotel crest by the way of which the hotel the beds are fantastic they're awesome um breakfast for a year for a euro breakfast uh, obviously living in england we're used to fry ups and loads of meat for breakfast if Euro breakfast to your thing. Um, you'll know better than I do, but I didn't think it was that bad. None of us were ill. Um, we were satisfactorily filled from breakfast. We went through the day. Um, and Hotel Crest is 80 meters. No, not even that, 60 meters from the front door of the hotel to the ski. Uh, basically to the gondola that takes you up to base camp. It was awesome. Um, yeah, we we stayed in the room that was literally right above the sign. So you see the sign, there's like a little balcony, couple of doors, yeah, that was like my room. Um, and Bill and his Lockwood room, as you look at the, the sign to the right of that. Uh, yeah, so we tied his hat to basically the, the sign, banged on his window, oh, I get out, and had his hat and just phew, over the uh, over the balcony. I will include that video in. Um, that I took that on my session. Um, so, yeah, I will put that video in at the end of this. Yeah, so basically, two weeks of mentalness. Um, and I'm here. Yes, I still, well, my my ice rash has now cleared up. I did have it across both knuckles. I've just got like a tiny little scab on one of them. Um, my ice rash has cleared up. Um, like an idiot, not wearing gloves. My ribs, yeah, that's muscular damage now. Um, the, the bones have set. They're not, they're not healed, not by any stretch of the imagination in a fortnight, but they're not moving anymore. So that's good news. Um, yeah, basically I've got muscle damage to two left ribs. Um, but hey, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna sit at home and feel sorry for yourself or are you gonna get out in the workshop and start sanding off a manky old toolbox? Uh, yeah, that's about it. So, before I left, uh, the Clio engine went, and no sooner than I can go like that with the Clio engine, uh, yeah, he's brought me another one. Uh, I think I did mention it in one of the videos, I was on the phone to him, and he um, missed the gear, um, and basically banged all the exhaust valves, yeah, well I've got that engine. So things I didn't cover first time round, like um, DTI, DTIing up the valves. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. Checking head for straightness. Um, cleaning the head. I didn't show you any soda th stuff. Uh, stripping it, hey, stripping it's the same as the last time. The block ain't coming apart. We know this bottom end's good. Um, ah, he put the engine in and it run. Um, so yeah, he is out as we, as I'm speaking now, he's out tomorrow. So I'm gonna be on the phone for him basically all day. Uh, I was gonna go up there and because of the past two weeks I've had, I ain't got time. Uh, I've got 101 things to do on my race car and we're rolling very, very quickly till 
it's the tenth today, I think. Um, yeah, I'm racing on the twenty second of April, and you go, yeah, that's loads of time. That is loads of time if I get my arse in gear and do it. But if I don't, uh, yeah, it's going to roll up very quickly, and we're going to be in all sorts of trouble. Now, trailer has been acquired. Van, not yet. Uh, the the Greeks have apparently booked their tickets to come over, so you will see action from not only just me, but we will have Dipshit and Nobby. Um, Nobby's the taller one. He wears glasses. Really funny if you get him on one. Dipshit is just sensible. Um, yeah, so we'll have action from them at the race meeting. They're coming over from the Thursday previous. Um, I'm going to try and book the Friday afternoon test, but I'm sceptical, but we'll see. Uh, I've yet to go to the rollers, so I've got to get over there. Yeah, there's a lot of things to do. Um, obviously, me messing around with the toolbox isn't maybe the uh, the greatest of my moves, but hey, I want it done. So no time like the present. Yeah, basically that's it. Mental two weeks. Yeah, getting back on it now. Race car's got some, uh, gonna have some lightweightness done to it with my new ankle grinder that I tested before I went away. Uh, yeah. More videos to come, lots more. Uh, judging by the look of this, it's probably gonna be another three a week until, pff, I don't know. Um, yeah, you know. Can't say much more. That's it, rambling again. They will be coming thick and fast. So, if you like the videos, please leave a like. If you like the content, please subscribe. Check us out over on Faceballs. Don't know why I'm pointing that way. Check us over on Faceballs and United's Motorsport, we are there. Drop us a like, say hi, um, that you've just come from a 18 minute vlog. Um, Tell me what video you joined on. Tell me what your favorite is. Please let me know. I need, uh, I need your, your support. I need to know what you like. So I'll catch you all again soon. Ciao.